Howdy! Awesome Patty here, and this is my Gingerbread House December Daily Journal. I have a few more pages I need to do, but today I have peeps. So come on along. My sister gave me some special candy cane peeps, and I'm going to open them up and try them out. I'm going to try to save the packaging so I can put that in my journal. So, um, I love the picture on the front. Peep right there. There's my bird cloth. It is the white breasted nut hatch oak cloth. That is one of the birds that loves to come to my bird feeders in the winter time. Oh, it's two packs. Ooh, they smell pepperminty. They're candy cane. They come in two boxes. And they do smell like candy cane. And I just dumped sugar all over my pants. Not good, not good. So this is the packaging. I was thinking about making one of these peeps. And putting it on the page, finding a random photo maybe. It does have a candy cane in the background there. Maybe I can cut out this picture, put that on there too. And look, it's got little windows. Mm, maybe I can do something with that. But first, I'm going to try a peep. And they're white. Bad lighting in here today. With little flecks of red. Kind of like red sugar, peppermint sugar. Got one little eyeball on one side there. That's interesting. They only put an eye on one side. Hmm. Okay, here we go. This is supposed to taste like a candy cane. We're nice and fresh. You know, this would be good in hot chocolate because it's marshmallow on the inside and it's got a little bit of that peppermint on the outside. This would be good in a do. Thanks little sister for giving me some peeps. I'll be right back. I bought a few things at Michael's in their clearance sale and I did get the paper pack Peace on Earth and I know everybody's seen these already but this one's really cute. It's kind of like folk art. I love this blue on blue. Got some peppermint stripes. And it's very folk artish. I love that about it. Look at these. Oh, I love them. I love them. I love them. I haven't taken a minute to look at this yet. So I'm going to share it with you. And the angels, and they're playing instruments. Fun stripes that go in the folk art colors. And I love this. Of course, this is too big to put in my journal, so it's going to get cut up, but still, I love it. I love it. Here's a darker page with the same print. More stockings and ornaments and mittens. Cut aparts. I look Santa on snowshoes. I love this Christmas tree. Can you see it there? I know I have to move it over. There it is. I forgot to put a fresh battery in. Oh, I love this. I love this. It's in blue and gold. Ooh, I really do like these poinsettias. Kind of a folk pattern. And look, cocoa with a candy cane and a gingerbread man. Oh, can I get that in my journal? 
I only have a few more pages and I love the horse motif. Very nice with gingerbread cookies and a little gingerbread peppermint. Oh, and this is very colorful. I like it. You know me, I like my colorful. And there's a border with the gnomes on it and angels and a little village. Cookies, a whole page of cookies, ornaments, cut apart too. These are all tags. Nice. Very nice. It's hard to see. I'll turn this around. Look at the bear. Ah, love it. Love it. And this is the page I'm going to use for my peeps, I think. I'll take one of those out. And here's a little village at the bottom. And red on pink. Ooh, that is nice. Some nice papers in this. Very nice. Cut the candy cane paper to fit. I'm going to leave this border. Sometimes I covered it and sometimes I left it. This time I'm going to leave it because I like it with the green, red and green. Very traditional. I cut the front of the Peeps package so that I have one window. And this is very delicate. It rips very easily. So I might have to just glue this whole thing down on here. But before I do, I was just looking for a random photo that would fit in that window. And I found this one of my son and our little puppy Waggies. When she was just a little tiny thing. That poor dog had a hard life. She was a lot of fun though, but she had a hard life. Her mom was... Well, let me tell the story. So I was teaching at a school and the people who lived in the house next to the school uh, went over to the park, which was only a couple blocks away from the school. And they went out for their walk. And in the park, they found a dog, a small dog that was half frozen to death and starving. So they brought the dog home, warmed her up. Here's some water and some food. And so she spent the night there. And when they woke up in the morning, the dog had puppies. I think it was four puppies. And so, of course, they, uh, they knew I liked my critter, so they asked me to take one of the puppies, and I did. And her name was Little Waggies. She a little wag wags her tail all the time. And the vet said, she looked like a Lassapu. It wasn't very big. So I put it over there, half onto that red maybe. Then I could put something here. So back then, um, we had horses and she loved to be with the horses. And I would take her camping at the um, trail riding camp and go out on the horse. And she'd follow the horse. And her legs were like about that long, you know, little tiny legs. And she would follow, follow the horse and follow the horse and run alongside the horse and run behind the horse. And then when her little legs got too tired to go anymore, she would jump up into the saddle well, what I have to do is pull the horse over to like a stone wall or a stump or a big rock or something. 
so she could jump up on that because she was so small and then jump up into the saddle or sometimes I'd have to get off and pick her up put her in the saddle and I had a big western saddle and she would just lay across the saddle in front of me and go to sleep and she loved to be out in the woods and be with the horses and then I take her to the vet and she loved the vet she would always stand up on her hind legs and kiss the vet lick his face and when she did that the vet noticed her legs and she had these huge huge muscles in her legs he's like my god what do you do to this horse I'm I'm sorry what do you do to this dog and I said oh she loves to run with the horses so he was always impressed about what great shape she was in but as she got older she developed a few heart problems and seizures and uh, I think she had kidney problems at the time. I had to get her special food from the vet. And she um, passed on, I can't really remember how old she was when she passed. Maybe like 12, I guess, or something. But I think that, um, you know, the mother being in such bad shape while she was pregnant probably had something to do later on with her I think kidneys and seizures and things but she was a very friendly dog very happy dog and loved to be oh she went blind that was the other thing and she always wanted to go down to the barn and I uh, had to be very careful because llamas aren't always nice to dogs especially if they get underfoot and she was so small they could kick her like a football. So I had to be careful about that. And when she was in the barn, I actually put her, put her on a leash, tied her up so that she could be there and not be underfoot. Next part is the photo, which is going to go there. Looks like a middle school picture, doesn't it? The only thing about working with the Peeps package is I now have delicious red and white sparkly sugar all over everything. And I wanted to draw a peep, but I can still do that. It's just not going to fit on this page because I decided to use the window. But that's okay. I got lots of journals. And it can go in one of them. So he's going to be right on the edge of the red. Like that. Oh, and this is for December 22, which is a palindrome. Is that how you say it? Palindrome? Yeah, that's a palindrome, uh, which means you read it the same front way as back way. So we have one, two, 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 one. So when you read that backwards, it's the same one, two, 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 one. It's a palindrome. Okay. What am I going to get to glue this down? Maybe the Fabri-Tac? Because it's very shiny. Maybe the double-sided tape. Maybe the double sided tape. Yeah, 
see, let me put this on here. So we were sitting and having lunch in the teacher's room one day, and I was talking about my dog, how she loves to go hiking and camping, and even if I'm canoeing, I had a canoe, she used to love to go out in the canoe, and how she loved the horses and loved to run with the horses. So people pictured her as, you know, like a sportsman's dog, like a Labrador retriever or a golden retriever or, you know, pointer or something. Some kind of dog that loves the outdoors and, uh, you know, a sporty kind of dog. So then one day I brought in a picture of her. And it was a picture of me, and I'm like out on the trail a little further away. It wasn't too close up. And so I'm standing there on the trail, and the dog is next to me, you know, and she looks about this big next to me like that, you know. And everybody just cracked up. They just laughed, that's Wags? I said, yeah, that's Waggies. And they just could not believe how small she was for all the activity that she loved to do. She was just a tiny, tiny thing. You know, think the size of a Lhasa. And that's how big she was. Oh, there's the phone. Okay, let's see if we can get this laid down correctly with the boy and the dog in the window, which has nothing to do with peeps, but that's okay. You know me, I like my random photos. Okay, went a little crooked, but I don't think there's any picking it up and doing it over again. A little crooked up there. Which means this is hanging over. I am so good at crooked. So good at crooked. Alright, what do I need to do next? Oh, there's my clock again. Wow. How spinch has it been an hour already? It only goes off once an hour. I can't believe it's been that long. Okay. Oh, even though I messed up, I think it's still good. I could put something there to hide the fact that I messed up, couldn't I? And then it wouldn't look too bad. There's a little bit of a wrinkle there, too. Uh, let's see. I need a number. 22, 22, 22, 21, 22, oh, that's cute. If I cut that, it might fit. I'm doing two pages for each day, so... Oh, I have that striped ribbon. Stand by. Something else I bought at the Michaels. Washi tape. And this matches Say Freeze. And this one matches Classic Christmas. Ooh, look at that red foil one there. And I believe these were on clearance. They're about five ninety nine. I, you know, these are normal, like nineteen ninety nine. You get fourteen rolls, and I don't know. I just can't bring myself to spend fourteen ninety nine on washi. I mean, nineteen ninety nine on washi tapes. But should I put this on here, or should I go find that ribbon? 
This is really cute. It has trucks and like a sweater pattern. Snow people. Plaid. Cocoa mugs. Warm, warmest something. Wishes. Bows. Green dots. Holly. Oh, I like that one. Santa. Hound's tooth. Merry Christmas, Joy, it says. Plaid, bows. Another Christmas one, another plaid. Foil poinsettias. More poinsettias. Peace on Earth, there's Santa there. And some more holly and greens. And a darker holly and greens there. I'm either going to use the tape or the ribbon depending how they fit. And I think I'm going to go with the ribbon. I kind of like that. The washi tape wouldn't look bad either, but I like the stripes because it kind of goes with the whole vibe there. So I'm going to put this away for now. I have a plan for these washi tapes. I know it's after Christmas, but I have a plan for those. Hopefully I'll get to it this year, right? I'll be journaling Christmas forever. Because I bought new paper, and I bought new ribbons, and I bought new washi tape. You might get tired of seeing Christmas journaling. Whoops. Such a fumble fingers. Put a little piece of tape on there. Keep it from getting unraveled. But this is so sparkly, the little sparkles clog up the tape there. Okay, let's see. I'm going to use my glue stick permanent bond extra strength but before I do that I'm taking out the wires because you really only need the wires if you're gonna like make a bow or something and when I glue things down flat in a journal I just take out the wires they come right out no problem a little less bulk I should say right after my journals are all chunky, you can't even close them. Chunky monkeys. Okay, a little too much glue, as always. And move this over. This is going to look nice right there. All right, sparkly red and white ribbon. Okay, okay, okay. We got it, we got it. I got glue on my fingers, that's what I'm talking about. All right, so now if I fussy cut him out a little bit, maybe, maybe I can fit him on here. So let's do a quick fussy cut. Like so. You know, you're still journaling Christmas after Christmas because you want to journal what's been happening. Unless you're so good you get journaling done that day, which I am not. Yes, 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 yes. Of course, I didn't get my painted but that's okay maybe I'll do that for the other journal 
before at some point in time. Peeps will be back around for Easter, right? When did they have a shortage? Was that last Easter? And that just fits in there so nicely. That little space. I might make this my journaling tag. This little tiny piece here. Down in the corner. I think there was another corner. Yeah, there's a bigger corner here. I could put one up here. Use what you got. Use what you got. Peeps from Sister Kathy. Let's see, could I write this small? I might have a tiny pen somewhere. Stand by. Okay, for the next page, what I wanted to put in here was my experience making dried orange slices for that wonderful citrus cinnamon clove holiday smell, that aroma that fills up your house. And there's many, many recipes online. And basically you have to slice oranges and bake them forever on a low temperature and flip them halfway through to dry them out. Now usually people make like a potpourri, add cinnamon sticks and cloves. And what I did, because I didn't have any cinnamon sticks, is I just stuck a whole clove into the orange and sprinkled it with cinnamon. And I also added a couple of dried cranberries to the mix and this really does make your house smell wonderful and I was going to sit them out in a plate but Mr. Possum saw them and he said that he's still waging the battle against the field mice who are coming into the house so that I could not put out any food but it did make the house smell really 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 good for hours and hours that day so my advice is, if you do this, um, is to slice them thin, a little thinner than I did, and place them on parchment paper. And you bake them at a low temperature, like 250, and for an hour or two, turn them over. Another hour or two, make sure they're really nice and dry or else they'll get moldy. And again, then you put it with some cloves and cinnamon, make a nice little basket, put them out in the room and it smells really, really good. So I have my two pictures here. This one is my slices and how I have cinnamon and whole cloves and parchment paper from the Dollar Tree. And got them ready for the oven. And here they are in a bowl under my little DIY Christmas tree, making my room smell really nice. But I'm going to have to put them away after, though, because the mice come out at night. So that's not a problem. I'll enjoy them for a while, and I'll put them away later. And, oh, I need to change my battery again. So in this paper pad called Seasonal Moments, which is like photography, there is a page in here with some dried apples and cinnamon sticks. So I'm wondering how I can fit this onto the page because the pages are not very big. And my two little pictures and just do a little bit of journaling. I don't know what that is. Pine cone. So I'm going to skip this page because it's already covered. Why waste that, that pretty paper there? And cover this white page. 
maybe like that and put my two pictures on there and just do a little bit of journaling that'll be nice why not right okay let me do some cutting and I'll come back Okay, all I did was cut to size, glue down, and I'm going to put my pictures on here. This is from my Ivy mini printer, zinc paper, zero ink, and they have a sticky back, but I'm thinking maybe I want just a little bit of a border around the pictures so they stand out a little better from the background. I bought this specialty cardstock on sale at Michael's. I don't know, what is it, like $2.99, $3.99? And I should have found one with red in it. This just has green. Very pretty. And a plaid. And then there's a gold. And a craft and a white. And I don't think I have um, this size of white cardstock. I do have white that is eight and a half by 11, but I don't have any white that is 12 by 12. So that might look very festive. So I'm gonna use this green foil. Yeah, Mr. Possum's like, why are you buying Christmas paper now? Christmas is over. And I'm like, well, $19.99 a pack versus $5.99 if I buy it today. Why would you not buy Christmas paper, right? Besides which, I have not finished my Christmas journaling and the paper will not go bad. Put it in the big tub and take it again, take it out again next year. Now I never get these things on straight. but you have to stand up. At least when you stand up, it'll come out better. Did you ever ask yourself why artists stand at an easel upright? And that is because of perspective. You wanna get the right, ooh, I like that. You wanna get the right perspective? And for me, it's about, oh, I, I got it straight. It's just a little over to one side. I could fix that with a little bit of a trim. Try it this way. Good enough, good enough. They are fine, they're fine. Okay, I'm gonna glue these down to my page. So you can put the tall one right there and the long one right there. I like it, I like it. I think the foil around the edge Gives it a bit of sparkle to the page. It's curling up a little bit. I gotta make sure this stays down while the glue is drying. And I just wrote dried oranges, thin sliced on parchment paper at a low temperature, 250. Halfway through, you're gonna turn them over, add some whole cloves and some cinnamon, and bake until really dry. Okay, making sure these are down. I used my glaze pen. I didn't put a number on this page, but that's okay. I don't have to. And I think I need to do another catastrophe because this is, um, this will be 23 and I have to do my shelf yet and then Christmas Eve and then Christmas Day. So let's wrap up this journaling for today. I want to thank everybody for coming along today. Very much appreciated. I want to wish everybody happy December daily journaling. Happy junk journaling.
Oh, you know what? I still have these oranges on the table and mm, they smell so good. Bye-bye.